All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do a redo on our soft armor test that we did, a long-range soft armor test that we did a while back. Uh, I'll put a link in the description down below for the previous video. Uh, but what we have today is a more modern level 3A panel. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the construction of this panel is, but it is a more modern design. Uh, and the other vest was just 100% Kevlar, and it was quite old. I believe that vest was actually from the 90s, and it had been compromised already. Uh, this this panel's uncompromised, and it is constructed of uh, newer materials. So what we're going to do is back up to about 470 yards and try to tag this with the 545 and the 762 and see if there's any difference uh, in this type of material. And we have our uh, just our cardboard backer. I've taped up everything on it. Uh, all the marks and whatnot. So uh, if anything passes through, we should see it on the backer here. And that should let us know if we do get a pass through, if it's still stuck in the dummy, or obviously if we don't get any pass through, it should be pretty obvious. All right, so we're gonna back it up to 470 yards and get this going. All right, so we're approximately uh, 470-ish, 475 yards, somewhere right up in there, give or take five yards. And uh, we're gonna try to hit that panel with the 545, so we'll take a couple shots. Hopefully we'll be able to tell if we hit or not, uh, and we'll go down range and take a look. Alright, so we're down range. Looks like the wind drifted us a little to the right, but that's okay because uh, we got one hit right here and one hit right here. And if you look on the back, we can see the hole right here from this one and a bullet that started to tumble uh, after passing through right here. And you can see where it actually impacted the back of the panel as well and came out. So. Uh, 545, 470 yards, level 3A soft armor. Uh, good luck. <laughs> Alright, we're downrange with the 762. Uh, we'll take a couple shots and see if we can't get uh, a couple hits. Okay, let's go take a look. All right, uh, we had three, two rounds hit under the vest, unfortunately, but we did get one that hit well inside the vest. So we'll go ahead and take a look and see what happened. And as you can see on our target in the back, we have a hole in our target. So, and yep, there's where it came out. So 470 yards, 76239. Uh, looks like it could fairly easily defeat a 3A soft panel. We might back it up a little further just to do due diligence and uh, see if we can uh, get this thing to stop one of these rounds. All right, so we backed it up to the 550 yard line, about 500 meters. Uh, we didn't bother video them because the sun is getting in our face. It's probably going to throw a glare on the camera. We did, we did the 545 first, and we came down and marked the hits. So we got two hits, uh, one right here and one right here. And as you can see on the target, uh, the rounds did pass through. So uh, no problem there. Not too surprising, 22 caliber round, uh, rather long and slender. Uh, still moving at a reasonable clip. I th I'm not sure what the speed on that is at this distance, the velocity. I know at the 470 yard mark, I believe it was still over, well over 1,500 feet per second 
thereabouts. So I would expect that to pass through. Uh, the 762 by this point is definitely subsonic. Uh, it may have been subsonic uh, at the 470 mark, but uh, it's definitely subsonic by now. So uh, I'll, we'll see what the results are here. And it's getting hard to hit at that distance. We are using holdover, and uh, the round is coming back through the, uh, uh, the sound barrier, and it, it can cause some issues with your accuracy. So uh, what we had is we had one hit here in his hip, and we had one solid hit here in the armor. Uh, we had some other hits around the peripheral and, and underneath, but we went ahead and marked those up uh, so as not to create any confusion. Um, and what we got, uh, as you can see on the target, uh, this is the one from his hip, and this is the one that passed through the armor. So you can see we did get uh, penetration, and you can even see on the panel here where the second panel was kind of ripped as it kind of went right through the, the edge of it there, or clipped the edge of it. So even at this distance, the 762 is making it through. I honestly wasn't sure that it would. The round is uh, 124 grain. It's moving uh, at this point. It is definitely subsonic. So uh, it, it's about like a nine millimeter target round at best uh, in terms of velocity and energy. Uh, but I'm assuming that the uh, pointed profile of the bullet, the reduced diameter, uh, along with the bimetal jacket is allowing it to make its way through the soft armor. Uh, it looks like it just can't, it doesn't have enough uh, surface area there to, to start deforming it and it's able to slip through even at these lower velocities. Uh, that is a little surprising. I honestly thought at this distance that the 762 would struggle to get through this, but it looks like it got through with, I won't say with ease, but I wouldn't want to be, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be behind it. So, um, there you have it guys, 762545, um, out to about all practical range you would uh, shoot one of those rifles. Um, it's able to slip through soft body armor, even this level 3A, and this is a more modern design panel. So, uh, if you like the content, if you like what you see, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to comment down below, share your thoughts, and uh, please keep it professional. See you guys next time.